Hey, I've been promising to do a review of the, this Arians mower for probably a year now. Um, a couple of channels I subscribe to talk a lot about mowers and things like that. And, and no one's done a re, kind of a, a review on this mower. <clears throat> this ain't probably won't be a, a big review, so to speak, as much as just uh, my experience with it and everything. I've had it for a little over a year now. Um, it's a uh, Arians, which is... Um, a lot of the parts are made at Husqvarna factory. A lot of parts are interchangeable. Uh, Arians is an American company, family-owned company. Um, not sure what all the connection is with Husky, but um, they're very similar. The uh, fully hydrostatic and automatic um, version. And it's the 22 horsepower V-twin with a 46 inch cut. Uh, it has a two, uh, two or two and a half gallon I believe it's two and a half, I may be wrong. Um, which is good to have because it uses about double the fuel that my 12 and a half horsepower used. It has its own oil filter, it has its own fuel pump. You pull this rod out when you want manually want manually want to push the mower, and then when you're ready to use the mower, drive it, push it in. That locks the uh, gear in place. Got a nice little idle on it. Um, this is the back lot. Uh, goes on back up in there a little bit. And my property goes on back on angles. comes with a uh, handy uh, deck washout feature. It's got a little plug here. Uh, and you just take your little attachment that comes with it, screw it on the end of a garden hose. I've got a little valve on the end of mine, but it screws just directly onto any garden hose. Um, you don't have to over tighten it too much or anything, and then it just clips on. All right. One of the few times that you actually push this pedal is when you start. Leave it in neutral. You can work your deck up and down as it's spraying. Engage the deck. Does a pretty good job. Does a pretty good job. If the grass is dry, if you got wet grass, not too good. Probably one of the biggest things to know about this mower and mowers like it. If you're not used to the hydrostatic, automatic, all that. Um, there's a very important thing to know, and that's to lay off the pedal. Don't uh, don't use that pedal for, really, you don't use it for anything. You have to depress it to start the mower. And if you're going down a hill or something, uh, you can't rely on the motor to brake for you. So you would use that as a brake. Uh, but the rest of the time, when you're changing gears, changing speed, uh, going from forward to reverse, this is all you use. You don't push the pedal. Uh, the problem is if you push the pedal and then and, and, and keep you know every time you move this thing even going from forward to reverse you push the pedal when you move it it's going to bang it's going to uh, hit real hard it's just not designed to do that so the biggest thing i had to get used to coming from a geared older mower you know you were used to, i was used to pushing that pedal for everything clutching braking shifting changing gears going to reverse 
you don't touch that pedal. It's, it's actually harmful to do that. It can really put a lot of wear and tear on the, uh, on the mower. Another attachment that the mower comes with is uh, for the oil. This is the oil drain. Um, it has a little dust cap that you undo. It has this hose that comes with it. It's about a 12 inch hose. And you just slide that on there. It's got a real good and snug fit. And then all you do is you take this and turn it, this yellow section, turn it and it'll drain all your oil out and then you can drain it down into a container so you don't have to worry about oil draining all over the uh, frame of the mower which is just another cool little little thing they thought of a uh, separate oil filter which is right here it comes with a fuel filter uh, dual spark plugs and uh, very nice actually very nice mower uh, and you probably can't tell from the video uh, but you know it's very quiet to be honest it's actually I mean obviously you can hear it I mean your neighbor can hear it but it's very um, a very pleasant sound it's sort of a woo type of you know it's like riding on a vacuum cleaner versus like my old mower or my neighbor's mowers which are like wow just a obnoxious just wah, you know really loud they've really come a long way with mowers over the years and, and have, um, not to say that they're a whole lot quieter but they're a whole lot more pleasant to listen to I guess is what I'm saying uh, something else is the seat is spring loaded very cushy and it even has a um, a little lever you can pull here to adjust adjust your your setting uh, position of the seat so you can just reach under here while you're on a seat and get your adjustment it doesn't have tilt steering or anything but it's got plenty of that uh, the settings on the key switch are typical but maybe some people don't know this but when you start the mower you turn it all the way and then it lets loose there that's sort of a safety setting you can't go in reverse when you're mowing if you want to be able to go in reverse when you're mowing, you turn it back. You turn it back one up to this position. So you know, if you let your little, you let your son or somebody drive this, it's gonna. That's where their key is gonna end up, and they can't re uh, mow in reverse. But if you know, you can turn that key, and then you can go forward and reverse while it's mowing and all that. Just a safety feature. And of course, you got a light switch. Uh, it also has a couple holes in the back. You got your beer, I mean, uh, cup holder, but then you've got a couple holes in the back here, and that's for an actual uh, canopy that you can attach on here, kind of like you would see on a um, golf cart. It's for like a shade canopy, parking brake. Got a parking brake. Uh, great mower, actually. Great mower, but don't abuse it. One thing that you got to worry about with this type of mower, because everything is automatic and hydrostatic. Leave that pedal alone. You don't even use that pedal. Pretend it's not even there. You got to depress it to start the mower, and you would depress it if you needed to stop coming down a hill or something like that. That's the only time you push that pedal. That's the most important thing to know about this mower. Um, otherwise, this is all automatic. I can take this and just go to reverse, neutral, forward, different speeds, and never touch anything. It's all automatic. And that's the way it's designed to run. If you don't do that, if you keep pushing that pedal and shifting this, which is a kind of hard habit to break, um, there have been some people that have reported blowing the uh, transmission on these things by doing that. So that was the hardest thing for me to get over. It took me a while to get used to that. But uh, once I did, I love it. I got one hand on the steering wheel and one hand on this. I can go forward, back, reverse, every which way, never push nothing. So you kind of get into that mode of where it's very efficient and, and smooth. But uh, that's it. That's the uh, Arians or Arians. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. A R I E N S. It's the 22 horsepower V twin, 46 inch cut. Great mower. Uh, I hope it lasts me 20 years because I can't afford to buy another one of these for another 20 years. Go Big Vol State. It's uh, it's the perfect color. For all you uh, Tennessee fans, <laughs> thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye.